I'm going to share some RV hookup accessories that didn't come with our RV when we purchased it. Some of these items might work for you and others might not, but we hope you find something useful. A Y splitter for the water supply has been a very useful item. It allows me to have one hose connected to the fresh water supply to the RV and then have another outlet for utility purposes for using another hose for back flush or for washing a vehicle or just general water needs. Uh, I don't recommend that you get one of these cheaper types. They're going to hurt your hands when your hands are cold. They're going to be very difficult to operate and they break very easily. So spend a little bit more money and get something a little bit more substantial with better knobs and features on it for protecting the hoses. Also added a water filter. These typically do not come with your RV. And I change these probably about every three months, maybe sooner if I feel like it's needed. These could be used in conjunction with uh, hard water softeners and other filters. I don't recommend that you drink the water having gone through this. This is simply to filter some of the shower water and dishes and maybe even laundry if you're doing that. And if you are doing laundry and have a lot of people taking showers and such, you're probably going to have to change these a lot more often. I recommend that you use spring water or a better water filter for your drinking water purposes. So we went with a 35 foot hose. Typically an RV is going to come with a 25 foot drinking water hose. We got the additional 10 feet with a 35 foot hose and this helps a lot when we've got to reach water supplies that are farther away and it also has these stainless steel fittings which we prefer. This is held up very nicely. We use these pocket hoses for our black water flush hose or any other type of uh, cleanup that we have to do. It's dedicated exclusively for those types of jobs. We never use it for our main water supply, certainly not for drinking water. The pocket hose type that we have uh, shrinks up very well. It's extremely light, doesn't take up much space. We have two of them here joined together just for additional length, but we found the black ones to be superior in this particular brand. We also keep a heated water hose on hand so that when the temperature drops below freezing, we just hook this to the water supply side, pull the insulation sleeve up, plug it into power, connect the other side to our RV water input, fresh water input, pull the sleeve up, and this will protect from freezing down to about minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. We've used it a few times and it's kept our water from freezing. So recommend having one of these if you're gonna be in colder temperatures from time to time. And just to give you an example, we were in Flagstaff, Arizona in May and it was in the 20s uh, Fahrenheit still, so we had to use this. So in situations that you might not think that you'll need one, you might just need one. There are other ways to do this. You can wrap your uh, regular water hose with heat tape, but we found this to just be a lot easier so that we have a particular hose for a given situation. I keep a pair of pliers nearby in case I get a fitting that becomes too tight and I need to loosen it. I don't want to have to go into a toolbox digging for them when I need them, so I have a dedicated set nearby my water supplies. With regard to water pressure, I have a water gauge. There's fancier ones available. This one seems to do the trick to let me know what the water pressure is. I'll usually test that when I get to a site so that I know what I'm dealing with in terms of water pressure. Some people will use these water regulators to reduce the pressure. I haven't found a need for it in uh, the years that I've been RVing. Typically with newer rigs, the plumbing can handle uh, more PSI than 
has been traditionally uh, handled in the past. So I usually don't have to use this, but this is another thing that might not come with your RV that you might want to pick up a water pressure regulator. An elbow like this can come in handy if the water supply is just too close to the ground and turned down. You can put this on it in order to be able to access the water supply with your hose. I've used this in a couple situations. So you might want to look around and find some fittings like this that are either adjustable or at least angled so that you can use them to access water supply if it's needed. A couple other items for accessing water is a water bandit or a water thief and this just allows you to put this onto a water supply that's not threaded so it'll just push on there and uh, form a suction and stay on and then you can hook your hose to it and this is called a silcock key this is a four-way key and this will allow you to access water that does not have a valve handle and um, I just have it around for emergencies just in case. A sewer accessory that I highly recommend is a gate valve. This basically twists onto the end of your sewer outlet and gives you the function of another pull valve so that it gives you an extra layer of protection on this pipe here so that when you remove this cap you're not going to get any surprises out of the pipe because you have this valve closed here. This will also give you backup if one of your valves is leaking. Nothing's going to get out of this uh, end of this pipe because you have this additional valve here. It's a very good backup and can save you some embarrassing and undesirable uh, moments. I'm sure several people out there can attest to that. It's not likely that a clear elbow came with your RV. And these come in handy. It allows you to be able to readily see the flow of waste so that you can tell that your tanks are emptying properly. You can also somewhat determine whether they're beginning to flow clean when you're back flushing. Another type of elbow is this clear elbow that has the additional back flush valve on it. And this can be used to help clean the pipe out on this end a little bit better because a lot of the backflow features uh, spray in to the tanks themselves and not uh, through the pipe here. So this is just another way that you can help clean out the system. Our RV came with a 10 foot section of sewer hose. And from previous experience, we knew that 10 foot was probably gonna be short in a lot of cases. So we immediately upgraded to this 15 foot section here. It expands quite a bit. I've got it contracted now. And this has worked at nearly every park that we've used it at, with the exception of a couple, this being one of them. So we got an additional 10 foot extension that we have on hand now that helps us to reach. sewer drains that are considerably farther away. So a 15 foot is probably the least that I would recommend and if you can get an additional 10 foot section that's probably going to cover most of the situations that you'll find out there. That gives you 25 feet of sewer hose reach. In addition we got this sewer hose support. This helps keep the hose off the ground, keeps it from maybe freezing to the ground, sticking to the ground, getting damaged. And it also provides a gradual decline so that waste can flow downhill to the sewer drain. Some additional items that I found quite helpful when managing the holding tanks is some disposable gloves generally keep the spare pack like this around, but I also have a, a box open that I can grab a pair out of when I need them. I'll also keep large, heavy trash bags. 
And I use these for short trips that I don't want to completely stow away the sewer hose. I'll put it in one of these bags, tie it in a knot when I'm just going down the road a ways and I plan on getting my sewer hose out right away. And I'll go ahead and use this for sewer hose transport. And I like to keep some hand sanitizer around. Uh, I highly recommend that you get the type that contains benzoclonium chloride benzoclonium chloride bzk this is way more effective as a disinfectant and it's actually safer it doesn't put alcohol into the bloodstream so that's really good when you use it with uh, children but it's far more effective at killing uh, germs so i keep this on hand and i use that on my way to go wash my hands another very handy item to have around haven't had a need for it yet but I can see where this would definitely come in handy is this acts as a cap on the end of the sewer drain and allows you to connect a hose like the dedicated hose that I showed for wastewater and then you can empty a gray tank uh, when you don't have a sewer connection but you have another means of emptying gray water in a proper way. So this could come in handy to allow you to do that through a hose. We highly recommend that you use a surge protector. These are also going to indicate that you have safe power for your RV and in the event that there is a power surge it's going to protect your appliances and electronics in your rig. Very very good investment. RV power cords can be very heavy and bulky especially these 50 amp cords so it's a good idea to have something to carry them in such as a duffel bag or some type of box. What we have is this collapsible crate and we just get that out when we need it, put the cord in it, carry it off, and slide it right into a compartment. We like to have some additional power adapters on hand. This one will take 50 amp down to 30 amp. So if there's not 50 amp service available and we have to plug into 30 amp, we're gonna need an adapter. So this plugs into the end of our 50 amp cord and this will plug into the 30 amp service. We also have one that will allow 30 amp to plug in to take it down to 15 amp. And one that'll do the reverse. Well, those were a few of the RV hookup accessories that we use. I'll be sure to put links to these items in the video description area. Please remember to comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. A quick tip I'll mention is to keep an assortment of washers around. Uh, you never know when you're going to lose one out of a hose and then spring a leak. And I find these on the ground a lot at RV parks and campsites. And so I just kind of collect them and toss them aside. If anyone needs one, I have one for them. Or if I need one myself, they're on hand.